For the first time since 2009, lawmakers are back at the State House for a special session. Yeah, our State House Bureau Chief David Williams has been at the State House all day long. He joins us now live with what was accomplished today, David. Lawmakers voted on five bills today. Two dealt with taxes, one dealt with technical things. Another dealt with a district, the state, taking over two school districts. And probably the one that took one of the longest times has to do with school safety and security funding. Look at what we're doing. Here. Democrats in both houses came out swinging Monday. I am going to be voting no on every one of these bills because I do not believe that this is a legitimate way to conduct government business. After State House lawmakers ran out of time this past session, they're back today. One of the most controversial bills up for a vote, funding for school security. An additional safety measure is on a fire safety alarm. An employee may barricade or block a door for a period of not more than three minutes in the event of an unplanned fire alarm and must initiate evacuation after a period unless an active shooter has been verified on the property. But some lawmakers slam the bill. This bill doesn't go far enough. This bill talks about $5 million for capital costs that we're going to extend to school corporations in the state of Indiana. $5 million divided by all of the schools that will be eligible for the, for the uh, benefit $7,352.94 is what that $5 million will be broken down to. But in the end, Republican State Rep Jim Lucas was the sole no vote in the House. You know, there's 2,000 public schools, over 2,000 schools, over 71,000 teachers, and over 1.1 million students. You know, how far do we expect $5 million to go? The school security funding bill passed both houses tonight. But Democrats aren't happy the Department of Child Services was never up for discussion during the special session. This special session could have waited until we were in receipt of that assessment, or we could have done something today that could have at least created forward momentum. On the other side, Republican State House leaders praise their own work done in one day. We promised transparency, we promised efficiency for the taxpayer. So I asked House Speaker Brian Bosma, look, how much is this costing you, the taxpayers at home across the state? He estimated around $20,000. By the way, these bills take effect July 1st. Live at the State House tonight, I'm David Williams, 24-Hour News 8.